Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's vlog, we are gonna be playing around with the discus. Um, in the last vlog, I got some new bedders. I'm gonna show you now. I picked up this yellow hellboy female and this yellow hellboy male. Now these are half moon cuts, which we're gonna be breeding in the future. I also, a few vlogs ago, had to separate both of my pairs of discus because of the aggression. So we put them together in a four foot tank over here and uh, separated them and I've been uh, like flipping around who's with who for the past couple of days. So like separating the female to one section, separating the male to one section, and finally it looks like we've gotten at least one pair to solve their family issues. So we're in front of the discus tank and you can see we've got our turk pair, which the male's over here, the female's here. We've got this divider thing here to stop the pairs accessing each other. And uh, we've got the male and the female flora discus here. So you can see she's really flared up, pillars out completely. And she's gonna hopefully spawn today. I'm really thinking that they are gonna spawn today. What I did was I had the female in here in this section over the past day and a half. And the reason for that was because the male was just beating her up. You can see that in the last vlog and uh, she needed time alone. So we had the male out here. Now these guys did not like that male being in their territory. So he was always up in this corner getting a little bit of a beaten up. I don't know, he wasn't beaten up too bad. They were just keeping him over here so that they could have their territory over here. We've introduced him again today because he looked like he wasn't too aggressive. They're just really looking like they're gonna spawn. So the plan is if they do spawn, we're gonna take this pair out, but we're gonna leave them in here until they do spawn because hopefully some hormones will get released and they'll uh, get in the mood to breed but these guys haven't been getting along the best i mean they're not unhealthy or anything like that they're just not you know if they do breed we'll keep these guys in here and they can rear up their fry these guys will come out and go into their own tank hopefully triggered by the hormones so we'll check up on these guys in the arvo okay so it's now the afternoon and what we've done in the tank is we've taken that divider that uh, piece of plastic we've stuck it down the end so that our other pair of discus have less territory than this pair of discus because they were kind of getting confused and fighting a little bit and it just wasn't that good now it's only just started to happen i've been watching them really carefully it's late in the afternoon they've just started to spawn really really exciting so if they move out of the way you can kind of see it hopefully this means that they've kind of sorted out whatever they were bickering about before i mean they were bickering this afternoon but it seems that i mean if they're spawning it should be good news right so you can see those eggs there very very exciting and uh, i'll update you guys when they're done spawning but okay so they've just wrapped up spawning as you can see so you can see all these eggs here now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the turk pair and put them back into their original tank and then we can remove the divider and these guys can rear up these babies hopefully so let's do that so i just put the tiger turks back up into their original breeder tank where hopefully they will now spawn i don't know if those hormones in that other tank are going to do anything like from from the other pair of discus breeding whether those hormones will help these guys to breed i don't know however these guys down here hopefully are going to do a really good job parenting up this second batch of eggs and uh we're going to be fluke ready this time so hopefully they've sorted out whatever they had problems with before and uh they're not going to be aggressive towards each other and they can parent as per usual because they did a really really good job on this batch in here we've still got 35 of these guys and they're all flourishing and doing really well so i'll catch up with you guys over the next couple of days as these guys take care of their fry uh, hopefully and uh, I'll keep you updated. So it's been a couple more days now and I was away for the weekend. Um, I had Justin coming and taking care of the fish room. Over the weekend, we've had some bad news. Discus have eaten their eggs, but there's good news. So over here at the discus tank, you can see these guys are very, very dark because they're covered in slime, but on our original pot, there is no more eggs. So over the weekend, these guys decided to eat their eggs, but the good news is that they are looking like they're prepping a new site. And it also looks like they've uh, sorted out all their issues. So they were really aggressive before towards each other in one of my previous vlogs. And it seems that being together again with another pair and having more options is really made them come together a little bit better now. What I'm gonna do is because they're prepping this pipe and I kinda of need this massive four foot tank for uh, growing out fish and stuff like that, we're gonna be taking these guys and putting them back into their original two foot tank, clearing up this tank so we can grow some stuff out and also so that they have a little bit more space, well a little bit less space I should say, for their fry to get around and they can easily take care of them and hopefully their aggression stops. The other reason as well is that um, every Monday now I'm doing some medications and I'm doing a fluke treatment in all of my tanks so for instance my discus fry down here from those parents that i showed you before um, they'll be getting a fluke treatment today and all the discus in the room will be getting their weekly fluke treatment so in a small tank it's much more economical and uh, cheaper to dose a fluke treatment than it is in a big tank however over here i haven't seen much breeding behavior i've seen some improvements on like aggression and stuff like that but you know nothing too crazy no you know pecking at this breeding cone or anything like that they've just been eating and uh kind of just been passive 
massive towards each other, but no breeding at all. So hopefully they do start to breed because viscous aren't cheap fish to buy, especially breeding pairs. And hopefully these guys are actually a breeding pair, but we'll see how they go in the future. Some more good news over the weekend is that these Ultims had another spawn. So we've got tons of Ultims coming through. I wish this tank had a bit better lighting, but you can see some of the fry here. These guys will be available very soon. The glare's not doing them any justice. They look really, really good under natural light. I need to get some lights on some of these tanks to uh, make the fish look a little bit better, but they look really, really fantastic, some of these fry. Also, both pairs of our Black Rams spawned. Now, these are a new pair. I actually bred these from the original Black Rams that I bought ages ago, and uh, these guys are paired off in this tank and uh, they've been laying eggs, but none of the eggs are fertile. So I'm guessing, you know, rams take a little bit to learn, especially these super inbred domesticated ones. Like you can see here, this is a beautiful black ram. They've been taking a little bit of time to learn how to uh, spawn properly and fertilize the eggs and things like that. But it's good that we're getting spawns from these guys because they're actually huge. Like they're laying like hundreds of eggs. So the other pair that we have over here, they spawned on the weekend and they laid hundreds of eggs as well. And they were all fertilized. So that's really, really good that we've got lots of these guys in production. In fact, just quickly, if we look over here, you can see all of the black ram fry that we have in this little breeder box. So there's some golds in there, we think, and there's also some blacks. So these could end up being blue rams, but I highly doubt it. I think that these are golds and blacks, which is really, really good news. We've got our second batch in here, and uh, you can see there's a little bit of a bigger batch in here, and these guys are a little bit smaller. Over at Justin's fish room, he's got the newest batch. I've also, this morning, got to go and take out some of the orders you guys have placed. Um, I'm absolutely chuffed at how many orders you guys have been placing. Um, I really can't believe that you guys are supporting me the way you are and everything that I'm doing is really thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for all the orders and just watching these videos and liking them and commenting and all that kind of stuff. It helps out my channel tremendously. It helps out my business. We're going to be taking a couple of your orders out today, which is my favorite thing to do during the week. Uh, I love selling the fish to you guys. It's just so much more special than selling them to the shops. But without any further ado, let's go uh, get some jobs done. Just wrap that up and you can see we've got some albino quarries. We've got like a better down there, guppies, all kinds of stuff. Heaps of plants as well, which is really cool. So let's get these to the post office. So it's now the next day and we're back in the fish room and we've delivered all the orders, but we're gonna have a look at this discus tank because if Clementine decides to move, you can see it there in the reflection, they've had another spawn. So I'm a little bit puzzled as to, I mean, how they're spawning so much. I'm unsure of whether they're gonna be successful at this one. So, I mean, it looks like all the eggs are fertilized look up the back I mean they've got good coloration and sorry mate they've got good coloration and uh, they look like they're fertilized but it's just a matter of whether they're actually gonna be good parents this time and you know do what they need to do to get these guys up to free swimming and then um, hopefully to the two-week mark where I can separate them and grow them up because if you come down here you can see these are our original fry we've got about 35 of them and they're just starting to eat some of their beef heart mix so these guys are really cute they're about a five cent coin size so you know they're getting some color there's some with like crazy banding on them and um, they're really really cute so I'd like to have like obviously hundreds of these guys in the fish Room. But uh, at the moment we've only got the 35, which is still very, very good. And these will be available probably in the next, I don't know, four months time or something like that, because I want them to get decently sized and have all their color before I sell any of them. So it's really good to see them all eating their beef heart. But well, it wouldn't be a vlog if Justin didn't rock up. So <laughs> Justin's here today and we're gonna do some uh, jobs to wrap this vlog up. So there's actually tons of fry at the moment. I mean, I guess we can go around and show everyone the fry. There's like incredible amounts of them. So down here we've got all these GBRs, the German Blue Ram which Justin bred and hatched and now we're raising up in here. Also, like if we come down here, see there's a ton of these panda quarries, which are really, really cool to see. We're gonna have to take more of them out today. More GBRs. And if you come over to this side of the fish room, I mean, you've got fry, fry, fry. Well, they're not fry, I guess. They grow out, grow out, grow out, fry, 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 fry. Black ram fry. Fry, fry, black ram fry, fry. So you can see there's a ton of stuff here. So we're just gonna be using today to move stuff around and uh, hopefully we can sell some fish or something like that. That'd be really good. Maybe to some shops or even to the wholesaler if we need the space. So put these guys in here. Wow. How many do you reckon? Yeah, probably about 480. 480. Someone's gonna screenshot and count now. 
prove you wrong. Oh, well, I better get all of them then. Well, we've just cleared out this tank, which was full of these German rams over here. These are all in their massive four foot grow out now where they're gonna finish their growing out before they get sold. You can see heaps of them. So we cleared out that tank so they can make space for some black rams, which are gonna move now. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like side on. We just pulled the fry out of the box and now we're gonna get a look at them from the side. You can see all the different types. So there's some with the big peck fin that's black and then some with the clear peck fin. Some of these smaller ones definitely look a lot blacker. There's definitely different shades in here. So we're gonna add them to their right tank. It doesn't feel like, but we've done so much today in the fish room. So a black ram fry down here, and they've been snacking on some uh, brine shrimp. You can see the golds in there, but what we think are gonna be golds and the normal or the blacks, hopefully. We've also come over here, sorted out a hundred bedders. There's just tons of these guys. So yeah, there's a lot of bedders available now. A lot of these guys are going to the shops tomorrow, but there's plenty on the website down below. So if you have a look on keepingfishsimple.com, we've got some amazing looking bedders. They are look really, really good on the website. I mean, they're not in great lighting up here. Like if you take, for instance, this Nemo half moon, some amazing color on some of these bedders. Anyways, Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. And uh, if you want to see Justin's channel, it's going to be a link, obviously, as well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.